Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for a new military video. Today we have the second part of my previous list, the unmanned combat aerial vehicles. In this case we have the classic UAV, so unmanned aerial vehicles, without uh, weapons, with a longer range and made for surveillance. We start this list with the Heron from Israel. It was introduced in 2005 with the first flight in 1994 with the latest upgrade, the Super Heron, introduced in 2014. It has a cost of 10 million dollars, a length of 8.5 meters, a height of 3.1 meters and a wingspan of 16.6 meters. The endurance of this aircraft is about 52 hours with a range of 1000 kilometers. 52 hours is more than 2 days. The service sailing is 10,000 meters, so it can fly almost at the same altitude of civil aircraft. For the power plant we have a turboprop with 200 HP and it can reach a speed of 280 km per hour as maximum and a cruise speed of 150 km per hour. The empty weight of this UAV is 900 kg with a maximum takeoff weight of 1450 kg. For the payload we have 450 kg used for the avionics, in this case we have an Elta Maritime Patrol radar, an Elta synthetic aperture radar, the SAR, electronic support measures, electro-optical and infrared sensors. At the fourth spot we have the Hermes 900, also this one from Israel. A little spoiler for you, Israel is always present in this list. It was introduced in 2012 with the first flight in 2009. The latest upgrade, the Hermes 900 Starliner, was introduced in 2019, just uh, last year. It has a length of 8.3 meters, an height of 3.6 meters and a wingspan of 17.1 meters. The endurance in this case is 36 hours, so it's a little less than 2 days, with a range of 2,000 and 500 kilometers and a service sailing of 9150 meters so also this one can fly almost at the same altitude of civil aircraft for the power plant also this one has the almost the same turboprop with 115 hp to reach a maximum speed of 220 kilometers per hour and a cruise speed of 110 kilometers per hour the empty weight is 830 kilograms with a maximum takeoff weight of 1600 kilograms the payload also for this one is 450 kilograms also in this case the payload is adopted for the avionics, for the maritime patrol radar, synthetic aperture radar, spectro XR electro optical and uh, infrared sensors. As said before, in the top 3 we find the Eitan, again from Israel. It was introduced in 2009 with the first flight in 2004. The cost of this one is 35 million dollars. It has a length of 14 meters, an height of 4.1 meters, a wingspan of 26 meters. The endurance is 36 hours, so also this one less than 2 days, with a range of 7,400 kilometers. The service sailing is 14,000 meters. Finally, this one can fly at a higher altitude of civil aircraft, and it's always better because it's safer for the UAV, safer for the civil aircraft, and it can also control the air traffic. For the power plant, we have a turboprop with 1,000 and 200 HP, it can reach a maximum speed of 410 km per hour and a free speed of 300 km per hour. The maximum takeoff weight is 5670 kg with a payload of 2700 kg. In this case the payload for the avionics is much higher than the UAV before, so it can have better avionics and more of them. Some examples are the synthetic aperture radar, the M19 electro-optical sensor and the maritime patrol radar. At the second spot we find the Zephyr from United Kingdom. It was introduced in 2017 with the first flight in 2003. The latest upgrade, the Zephyr 8 or Zephyr S, was introduced in 2018. It has a length of 13.1 meters, an height of 2.9 meters and a wingspan of 25 meters. The endurance in this case is something incredible, 26 days. So it can fly for almost one month without refueling, it's incredible. The range is more than 32,000 kilometers, of course flying for so much time it can have have a very high range and the service sailing is 21,500 meters also in this case it can fly at a very high altitude avoid all the civil aviation traffic and also military traffic in this case another interesting fact about this UAV is the power plant we have two solar electric motors with a total power of 120 HP I know it seems not so much also because it has a cruise speed of 26 km per hour with 
this uh, power plant, but it can fly for so long and it's almost like a satellite. Also for the weight here it's very interesting, we have an empty weight of only 62 kilograms, it's very light, and a maximum takeoff weight of 75 kilograms. It's just a little heavier than me, it's awesome that a UAV like this is so light. And uh, for the payload, here we have only 5 to 12 kilograms of payload, still a lot of uh, avionics uh, possible, but uh, with a much lower weight. Some examples are the electro-optical sensor, automatic identification system, HD optical and uh, infrared video, SIGINT and uh, missile warning receivers and so on. And we completed this list with the Air Q4 Global Hawk from United States. It was introduced in 2006 with the first flight in 1998. The latest version, the MQ4C Triton, was introduced in 2019, so the last year. We have a cost of $131 million. It's quite expensive. It has a length of 14.5 meters and an height of 4.7 meters. The wingspan is 39.9 meters. This one has a much less endurance of the one before, 32 hours hours, so a little less than two days, and a range of 23,000 kilometers, so the range is good. The service sailing also in this case is higher than the usual civil uh, flight aviation. In fact, we have 18,000 meters, that is very good. And also for the power plant, we have the first one with a turbofan instead of a turboprop with 34 kilonewton of power. Thanks to the turbofan, it can reach a maximum speed of 630 kilometers per hour, so it's very fast, and a cruise speed of 570 kilometers per hour. Hour. The global lock empty weight is 6,780 kg with a maximum takeoff weight of 14,620 kg. Of course, it's the heaviest in the list. The payload in this case is 1,400 kg, that is less than the number 3 but still very good. And also for this one, we have a huge range of avionics possible, like the AESA radar, synthetic aperture radar, electro optical sensor, wide spectrum sensors, and also laser warning receiver and radar warning receiver for self-defense, electro-optical and infrared sensors, and so on. So, also for today, the list finish here. Uh, I would like to explain you why I choose the Global Oak as the first position, even if the second one, the Zephyr, has a higher range. Well, there are many reasons, actually. Uh, the Zephyr is an awesome UAV and it can fly for almost one month without refueling. Just for this, it's awesome. It's something incredible. Just think about this thing flying so high for one month without landing. But we have some cons here, because it's very slow, so if you need a fast surveillance for a determinate area you need a lot of time to reach it because the maximum uh, speed is less than 60 km per hour, a car is faster. And another problem here is the payload that it's only 5 kg, that it's enough for a very good uh, amount of uh, avionics, but of course is much less than the Global Hook that can transport more than 1000 kg of payload, so it can have better and more avionics. So if I have to choose, for me the Global Hook is the winner, and this is why I put the Global Global Hawk in the first spot because it's faster so it can reach the area you need to surveil in uh, less time and it has more and better avionics. So these are the two main points of the choice. Depends on the cases but of course also the Zephyr is a very good alternative. Of course I have also to congratulate with uh, Israel because the other three spots are all Israeli aircraft. They are producing very good UAV so very good Israel, very good. So if you liked this list, you can check also the combat version of this list. So we have the UCAV, Unmanned Combat Area Vehicles, that is a little longer and uh, we have more countries in the list. Of course, you can check also my other military list where there are helicopters, tanks, uh, ships, uh, submarines, everything. So you can check also them if you want. If you liked this one, please leave a like, that it's always appreciated. Leave a comment and let me know if there are uh, problems, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me why you disagree and what you want to see next so you can always leave me a comment and uh, let me know uh, what you want i speak about remember to subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet you can follow me also on my other social network and a little spoiler for you twitch is coming